Have you ever thought about starting your own landscaping business? Picture this, you're your own boss shaping the world around you one lawn at a time. As we step into 2024, the demand for landscaping services hasn't just grown, it's exploded. From urban jungles wanting a touch of green to sprawling estates seeking the perfect manicured garden, the opportunities are vast and varied. And the best part, you don't need to be born with a green thumb. With the right knowledge, resources, and a bit of determination, anyone can cultivate a thriving landscaping business. It's not just about planting trees and mowing lawns, it's about creating outdoor spaces that inspire, relax, and bring joy. It's about breathing life into concrete landscapes and making the world a little greener one backyard at a time. The seeds of opportunity are ripe for the picking. So, the question is, are you ready to dive into the world of landscaping business? A successful business begins with a solid plan. The nucleus of any thriving enterprise is a well-structured business plan. It's no different when it comes to starting your own landscaping business. A business plan isn't just a document, it's your business's north star, guiding you through the highs and lows of entrepreneurship. Firstly, a business plan should include comprehensive market research. You need to understand the landscape of the landscaping industry, no pun intended. What is the demand for landscaping services in your area? Who are your potential customers? Are they homeowners, businesses, or perhaps both? By understanding your market, you craft strategies tailored to meet your customers' needs, making your business a cut above the rest. Next is a competitive analysis. Identifying who your competitors are and understanding their strengths and weaknesses can give you a competitive edge. It's about learning from their successes and sidestepping their mistakes. Conquering the battlefield of business means knowing both your allies and adversaries. Then comes the pricing structure. How much should you charge for your services? This could be a tricky part. Pricing too high might drive potential customers away, while pricing too low may undercut your profits. The key is to find that sweet spot where your prices are both attractive to customers and profitable for your business. Remember, your pricing should cover costs, labor, materials, and still leave room for a healthy profit margin. Last but not least, your business plan should include a robust marketing strategy. In this digital age, having a strong online presence is crucial. Utilize social media, create a user-friendly website, engage with your audience and showcase your work. Word-of-mouth referrals are gold in this industry, so strive to exceed customer expectations every time. To put it in a nutshell, a business plan is your roadmap to success. It provides a clear direction and helps you navigate through the complex world of business. It's a living, breathing document that evolves as your business grows and changes. Remember, a landscaping business without a plan is like a garden without a gardener. In the world of landscaping, knowing your niche is key. So let's dive into the nitty-gritty of this concept. To put it simply, your niche is a specialized segment of the market for a particular kind of product or service. It's like your own unique corner of the vast market landscape where your business can truly shine. Let's consider the landscaping industry. It's a broad field with numerous potential niches. You could focus on residential landscaping, offering services to homeowners who wish to enhance their property's curb appeal. Or perhaps commercial landscaping is more your speed, catering to businesses and public spaces. There's also the ecological landscaping niche, where you can provide services that support biodiversity and sustainability. Now, identifying your niche isn't just about deciding where you want to focus, it's about understanding who your target clients are and what they need. It's about tailoring your services and marketing efforts to attract these specific individuals or businesses. Let's say you opt for residential landscaping. Your target market might be homeowners who lack the time or skills to maintain their yards. They need someone who can not only keep their outdoor spaces looking great, but also provide advice on plant selection, lawn care, and seasonal maintenance. So, your services should address these needs, and your marketing efforts should highlight how you can solve these problems for your clients. But what if you decide to go with ecological landscaping? Your target market might be environmentally conscious homeowners or businesses, or even local councils looking to improve public spaces. These clients need services that promote biodiversity, reduce water use, and limit chemical inputs. Again, your services and marketing should be tailored to meet these needs and demonstrate your expertise in this area. Remember, choosing your niche isn't about limiting your business. It's about focusing your efforts where you can make the most impact. It's about understanding your clients and delivering the best possible service to them. And it's about setting yourself apart in a competitive industry. By identifying your niche, 
you set your landscaping business apart from the competition. Because in the end, it's not just about doing business, it's about creating solutions that matter to your clients. Innovation is the seed of success in landscaping. Now you might be thinking, but I'm not an innovator, I'm a landscaper. Well, you'd be surprised at how the two are intertwined. The world of landscaping is continuously evolving, with new trends and technologies emerging every year. By staying current with these changes, you position your business at the forefront of the industry, offering services that are fresh, relevant, and in demand. Let's take a look at some of the recent trends. One of the key shifts we've seen is the move towards sustainable and eco-friendly landscaping. More and more homeowners are seeking out green solutions, from drought-tolerant plants to organic fertilizers. By incorporating these elements into your services, you're not only contributing to a healthier planet, but also meeting the needs of a rapidly growing market. Another trend making waves in the industry is the use of smart technology. We're talking about automated irrigation systems, robotic lawn mowers, and even drones for landscape surveying. These aren't just fancy gadgets, they're tools that can significantly increase your efficiency and productivity, allowing you to take on more projects and deliver better results. Now it's important to note that staying current doesn't mean jumping on every trend that comes your way. It's about being discerning, understanding your market, and choosing the innovations that align with your business goals and values. Remember, the goal is to enhance your services, not to overhaul them completely. Staying current also means looking beyond the industry. Keep an eye on broader societal trends such as the growing focus on mental well-being. How can your landscaping services contribute to this? Perhaps by creating serene, nature-inspired spaces where people can relax and recharge. In the end, staying current is all about adapting and evolving. It's about embracing change, not fearing it. It's about recognizing opportunities for growth and seizing them. And most importantly, it's about ensuring your business is not just surviving, but thriving. By staying current, you ensure your landscaping business is always blooming. Sustainability is not just a trend, it's a necessity. In the landscape industry, this couldn't be more true. As we push forward into the heart of the 21st century, the importance of sustainability in all aspects of business is becoming increasingly clear. You see, in the world of landscaping, sustainability does more than just help conserve resources and protect the environment. It serves as a magnetic force, attracting clients who value their role in preserving the planet. By incorporating sustainable practices into your landscaping business, you're not just making a wise business decision, but you're also taking a stance as a protector of our shared home, Earth. So, how exactly do you infuse sustainability into your landscaping business? Let's dig into that. Firstly, consider using native plants in your designs. These plants have adapted to the local climate and soil conditions over thousands of years, making them a more sustainable choice as they require less water, fewer fertilizers, and less maintenance overall. Secondly, integrate water-saving techniques. This could mean installing drip irrigation systems, creating rain gardens, or using drought-tolerant plants. This will not only save water, but also save your clients money in the long run. Thirdly, composting is another sustainable practice to consider. By using compost, you can reduce the need for chemical fertilizers, improve soil health, and recycle organic waste. This practice can also be a selling point for your business, as it shows your dedication to a greener and healthier environment. Finally, consider the use of renewable energy sources, like solar-powered tools and equipment. This can reduce your business's carbon footprint and is another excellent way to show your commitment to sustainability. Incorporating sustainability isn't just about doing what's right for the environment. It's about doing what's right for your business. It can set you apart from competitors, attract eco-conscious clients, and ultimately drive your business towards success. By embracing sustainability, you're not just growing a business, you're growing a better future. Starting a landscaping business is more than just planting seeds. It's about cultivating a vision, a plan that will grow and flourish, just like the plants you'll tend to. It begins with developing a solid business plan, a blueprint that outlines your goals and how you intend to achieve them. Next, identifying your niche is critical. Understanding what makes you unique in the landscaping world will help you stand out amongst the greenery. But it's not enough to just plant your business and hope for the best. You need to stay current with the latest trends and innovations. The landscaping industry is always evolving and so should your business. And of course, incorporating sustainable practices is crucial. 
As stewards of the land, it's our responsibility to ensure our businesses are as green as the landscapes we create. With these steps, you are well on your way to building a thriving landscaping business. The future is green, so why not be a part of it?